Welcome to Sri Prakash Vijayi Ketan Pri and Pai Thro Peta. Hi children, how are you? Good morning children. Today we are going to learn a new lesson which is very very interesting. So in the previous class you learnt about the famous scientist of India. Children, can anybody say what is the name of the scientist? C. V. Raman. Yes. C. V. Raman. Today, we are going to learn a new lesson. Children, I think all of you know, we are all studying now 7th class. What is the subject we are learning? English. So, coming to the lesson. Children, once all of you, what is the name of the lesson, title of the lesson? Guru the Brave. Once again, all of you repeat, what is the name of the lesson? Guru the Brave. Now, in the previous lessons, we learned different kinds of lessons. Can anybody say? Prose, yes. Poetry, essays, biographies, short essays, conversations, many are there. But coming to the present lesson, children do you know what kind of lesson it is? Once look at all of you, the genre or kind of lesson is playlet. Once look at all of you, what is the spelling? P-L-E-A-Y-L-E-T, playlet. Children, do you have any idea about playlet? Okay, I will give you I will give you an example. See, in our school, among us, many children will go on the stage. They will perform different characters. What kind of genre it is? S. Yes, it's a drama. We know very well about drama. So a drama is nothing but a drama is nothing but it takes more time and it will be performed by many characters but here what is here what kind of genre here it is here planet so children can anybody say what is a planet okay you don't know okay no problem i can i will explain what is a planet? Children, now I will say about what is a planet. A planet is a mini play, usually less than 3 or 4 minutes duration, that helps students learn about the subject by watching characters perform real life simulations. Scripts are, here yeah, scripts means texts are usually less than 500 words and the playlets can be performed by 3 or at most 4 actors. Once again see what is a playlet? A playlet is a mini play or a drama usually less than 3 or 4 minutes duration that means if you observe any playlet if you watch any playlet just it takes only three to four minutes duration then the children can easily understand the characters which are performed on the stage and if you observe the text the written script about playlet about playlet just it has only less than 500 words and the playlets can be performed by three or uh, four actors. Now, look at the picture. Children, look at the picture once. What is the picture about? Who are they in the picture? What are they doing? That means what is happening in the picture? What do you think the cause of war? Or battle or fight. Now, 
again what is the picture about the picture is about a war between the soldiers or among the soldiers from one kingdom to other kingdom children all of you have a close look once again see the soldiers the kings also the kings are also there in the picture they are fighting one another what the what do you think the cause of war or battle or fight so there are many causes or reasons for causes of war maybe can you say what are the reasons for war maybe economic gain that means occupying other countries wealth and territorial gain maybe it again it occupy occupying the other countries land religion every country feels our religion is superior to other religion so like that many causes or reasons are there for fight or battle among the countries now coming to the learning outcomes that means by reading or watching the playlet through the brave what do we learn from the playlet first one all of you have closed it close look at understanding the playlet of puru the brave and performing the same to develop our dramatization skills and second one is answering the given comprehension question so really if you understood you can easily answer the given comprehension question and third one is fill in the blanks with the appropriate words from the text of the given paragraph that means here some of the words are given from the text and one paragraph is given you have to fill in the paragraph using those words from the text and fourth one is pick out the antonyms from the text for the given words here antonyms means opposite words opposite words that means whatever words are given for those words you have to find out the antonyms from the play playlet and next one is adding the appropriate prefixes or suffixes to the given roots to make new words children do you know what are prefixes and suffixes prefixes are a group of words that are added at the beginning of the word that means it leads to form a new word and coming to suffixes suffixes again they are a group of words that are added at the end of the word to form a new word next one is learning the usage of should and must and fill in the given text with them see many times you use should must but in the textbook that means in the play playlet puru the brave how to use should and must are given so using these two how to how to use them in the given text next and last but last but least learning the three forms of adjectives i think all of you know adjective is, is a word that describes the noun so here again adjectives are three forms we call them as degrees of comparison for example good is an adjective can you say that other two forms good better best so like that we have to we will learn many more many more adjectives now coming to the characters of the play puru the brave children can anybody say what are the characters in the play okay once again what is the title of the lesson puru the brave now 
what are the characters in the playlet i think all of you understood what is playlet now what are the characters are there in the playlet see alexander the great alexander the great see alexander the great so the great here the title of the character alexander now second character puru the brave what is the second character puru the brave again here observe puru so it's a short name purushottam what is the full form full name of the character purushottam again observe this title the brave next coming to the third character four genders children today we know in our country in our state we have democratic governments so who is adopt the government chief minister does, he, does the chief minister only rule the government no so many many representatives are there to give support and suggestions to the chief minister of our state so we call them as minister of council so like that in the ancient period in the ancient period so we have kingdoms so head of head of the kingdom is king so whoever gives the suggestions and support to rule the government smoothly we call them as generals what do we call them general so generals are nothing but ministers next one is soldiers how many soldiers are there six soldiers are there soldiers who do we call soldiers the people general people are people who are subordinate to the king and whenever the war comes or takes place the soldiers directly perform or directly go to into the warfare to fight against the enemies so these are the character so first character is alexander the great second character is puru or purushottam the brave and next one is four generals how many generals are there four generals like right? this four ministers next one is six soldiers how many soldiers are there six soldiers now children i will tell you about puru the brave so the title of the play is also puru the brave so puru was a brave king and a great great soldier of northern india the king puru belongs to our ancient india so he was a king and a great soldier of northern india so once upon a time there was a great battle or war between alexander and puru children do you know here who is alexander alexander was an ancient macedonian ruler and one of history's greatest military minds who as king of macedonia and persia established the largest empire the ancient world had ever seen so children do you know alexander so he is also a great man what is his title alexander the great once again so alexander was an ancient macedonian ruler and one of history's greatest military minds who as king of who as king of macedonia and persia established the largest empire the ancient world had ever seen so there was a great war between alexander and puru so in the war 
both Prince Alexander and Puru fought, fought severely and finally Puru was defeated. But even though Puru was defeated, he never, he never wants to show his back. That means it indicates his courage or bravery. So that's why Alexander liked Puru's bravery and self-respect. So he became his best friend. So whenever we, we have the courage or self-respect, everybody wants to wants to maintain good relation like a friend. So there was a great battle between Alexander and Puru on the banks of Zilam. Children, do you know what is Zilam? Zilam is one of the major rivers in ancient period. So along with Zilam, along with Zilam, there are four more major rivers in ancient period. Children, do you know what are what are those rivers along with Zilam? Ravi, Bias, Satlej, Chinap. So in the so at the banks of Zilam, Alexander and Puru fought each other at the banks of Zilam. Alexander and finally Alexander asked Puru to be his vassal, but he refused. Children, do you know vassal? Whom do we call vassal? A person or a country who is in a subordinate position to another person or another country. Children, I think all of you know, in Peru, vassal means Samantha Razu. Samantha Razu or Rajyam. That means who is completely uh, depend, depended on depended on to other country or to a other person. We call him as vassal. That country is also the vassal country. So Alexander asked Puri to be his vassal, but he refused. So even though he was defeated, I want to be a king. So that's why Alexander liked Puru's bravery. So that is the great quality of Puru, the brave. Children, did you understand about Puru? Now, coming to the gist or summary of the playlet, Puru the Brave. Now, I will, sh I will say it in a shortcut. Once, there was a man named Alexander who set up camp at Zelam. Children, do you know Zelam? So, Zelam is the one of the major rivers in ancient period. In ancient India, we have five major rivers. Children, do you know what are those? They are, those are Ravi, Bias, Satles, Jelam, Chinam. Once again, Ravi, Bias, Jelam, Satles, Chinap. So, these are the five major rivers in the ancient periods so whenever the war completed between alexander and puru they, they took rest 
they took rest at the at the camp of Zilam and they started a conversation between and between Alexander and his generals so while while having a conversation with his four generals he was acknowledging that this battle could go down go down means a very remarkable recorded recorded in the history of india alexander was praising the works of the indian army and soldiers so whenever the war completed both both sides that means the troop the soldiers of alexander and the soldiers of puru they fought severely and everybody everybody move forward and fight each other so alexander said that alexander was praising the works of the indian army and the soldiers his generals claimed that the greek general children do you know generals generals are nothing but the ministers of the kingdom he generals claimed that the greek generals were better than indian generals with which alexander agreed that means whenever his general said our our soldiers are so better than indian soldiers and generals they agreed on this point with the explanation that indian generals were old fashioned in their fighting ways as they followed old warfare tactics that means whenever the generals of alexander they said what they said indian indian generals they followed the old fashion tactics in their fighting they praised how furu how furu fought how he was injured how much the army had conquered then alexander told his generals to release furu from chains because he was a brave man then whenever he heard about the furu and his soldiers immediately alexander ordered generals immediately release furu when when furu when furu was brought before alexander he asked furu whether he felt sorry for his mistakes so whenever furu was brought to the the court of alexander then alexander asked whether whether he felt sorry for his mistake furu told alexander that he did not make any mistake by rejecting his proposal and that he was still the lawful king so already we know what is his title furu's title furu the brave that means he was very courageous he never show his back to his enemy or is other other um, opponent so what he told puru told alexander that he did not make any mistake by rejecting his proposal and that he was still the lawful king no 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 i was not defeated still i am the i was the lawful king alexander then alexander was astonished astonished means surprised and asked puru about how he should treat him then alexander asked puru Uh, 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 taking into the consideration of his bravery then how should i treat you puru answered as one king would treat another what he said puru as one king would treat another that means how other king treat other king like that you treat me upon hearing this alexander released puru and both agreed for equality and autonomy of regions alexander released then immediately then immediately alexander released puru and both agreed for equality and autonomy of regions and they wanted and immediately they made friendship with each other and after which the generals bowed bowed before both of them then immediately generals sir because alexander and puru both were the both were the kings then immediately the generals the four generals of alexander bowed to them bowed to them so this is the summary of the 
ప్లేలెట్ పురు ద బ్రేవ్ ఓకే చిల్డ్రన్ నా ఐ విల్ గివ్ యూ స్మాల్ అసైన్మెంట్ ఐ థింక్ ఆల్ ఆర్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ప్లేస్ క్లాస్ సో బేసింగ్ ఆన్ ద క్లాస్ ఐ విల్ గివ్ యూ ఎ స్మాల్ అసైన్మెంట్ సో అసైన్మెంట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ హౌ ఫార్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ టుడేస్ లెసన్ సో ఐ ఐ గే ఐ విల్ గివ్ యూ ఫైవ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ సి ఆన్సర్ ద గివెన్ క్వశ్చన్స్ యువర్ నోట్బుక్స్ సో వే డూ యూ రైట్ ద ఆన్సర్స్ ఇన్ యువర్ నోట్బుక్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ ఇట్ అండ్ ఇట్ విల్ బీ గివెన్ ఇన్ ద ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ వర్క్ షీట్ ఐ థింక్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వాట్ ఈస్ వర్క్ షీట్ ఎస్ నౌ నోట్ డౌన్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ దట్ క్వశ్చన్ నౌ చిల్డ్రన్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ నోట్ డౌన్ ద గివెన్ అసైన్మెంట్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ write the differences between playlet and drama chill and note down all of you that means here you have to write the differences between playlet and drama and next question is what are the causes of war among countries already we gone through the gone through in our class today what are the again you have to write what are the causes of war among countries third one why is alexander called as alexander the great once again why is alexander called as alexander the great fourth one what were the what were the five major rivers that flowed in ancient india see the question what were the five major rivers that flowed in ancient india already in our playlet one river is given zhelum so along with the river you have to write the former rivers now last one read the playlet puru the brave thoroughly for better understanding so tomorrow i will ask you how far you read the playlet so all of you open your notebooks and write the answers for the first four questions and fifth one is you have to read the playlet through the wave for better understanding okay thank you one and all tomorrow we will discuss the playlet once again thank you